guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another Sony Vegas tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to do a really cool and fucking awesome glitch effect. You may have seen this effect used in games like Battlefield. Um, that's pretty much the only one I can think of on the top of my head. So, first of all, you're going to want to drag in your clip here. You don't really need an audio track, so we can go ahead and delete that. Now you want to hold control, drag the clip down, you want to duplicate the track and then you want to go on the pan and crop sequence, hit the mask button, go down to here uh, and you want to grab the little square tool here, make sure you have that selected, not the circle, that one and if we just zoom out a little bit here and you just make some boxes, yeah, it's pretty much it, this is a really fucking easy effect. Always squeeze a small one in there. So basically, all these little boxes are going to be the little glitch ripple thingy across the screen. And yeah, so what we want to do is we want to sort of take this and play it through and decide where we want to have the glitch. And we're going to drag that one up to that line there. I'm going to go one frame before right click and reset the mask so it only comes on when we go a frame over if you uh, if you get what I mean now if we go back onto the, the uh, top track here the position track and so we can move this shit around and you can see that in the background just moving there and a little thing we're gonna want to do before is if we go into this here and we just drag this up and just zoom it in just a little bit this is going to help so you don't see the edges of the mask at the end of the screen. Now if we click back on this one, we just go one frame in and we just drag this over a little bit. There you go back, drag it back, da -na -na, da -na. It, this is pretty much it and so forth. I mean, yeah, you can mix it up a little bit and drag it down. Then maybe across, then back up to the center. And basically you just do this for as long as you want the glitch effect to last. And then when you end, want to end it, take this one, drag it just under the, uh, the last frame. Make sure it's all reset though, so that's reset. And then take this one and drag it to there. And yeah it all resets so you'll have something that looks a little bit like this and it looks pretty fucking cool it looks shit by itself you have to have it playing to music which is what i'll show you here so if i delete these and yeah as usual i've got a little track prepared down here and if we just enable everything we've got a music track so we've got our black bars we've got our fade out here now, that's what I want to talk about. You can't just fade this out here because it's going to look weird. You have to add the black fade out on top of it for it to actually work properly if you want to fade it out. And also with color correction, with my last video, um, I told you that you had to, with the effect, you had to render it out first and then put it back into Sony Vegas and put your color correction on. You have to do that again with this effect or it's going to look weird because you have two separate tracks that you have to put the same color correction on and it's just going to look shit at the end of the day. And then you sync up to music with your markers and shit, and yeah, let's just have a look. And as you can see, that was pretty fucking sick. Now, this effect only really suits certain types of songs. You can't, like, say, do this effect to some fucking, like, summer jam fucking hip-hop music, because it's just not gonna it's not gonna work. You're gonna wanna use a different effect for that sort of song. And that's pretty much it for the video guys. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.